Hello again. So today we're going to continue learning about ecosystems and um, I'm going to read some information for you and then you are going to practice it and then you're going to watch a video and then you're going to answer some questions and then you'll be done for today. Today's video is with Bill Nye and he is just really fun to watch and very entertaining. It's a pretty long video, but I want to make sure that you know what you're listening for. So while you're watching his video, I want you to listen for words like ecosystem and organisms and um, species and populations and communities. So I'm going to start as an introduction here, excuse me, um, with an ecosystem. And an ecosystem we know is all the things that interact in a specific area, whether they're living or non-living. Some examples of non-living things, remember non-living things are abiotic, right? The support life in an ecosystem are light, air, soil, and water. Can you think of a place that might not have light, where things might live? Like a cave, or really deep down in the ocean where it's dark? All right, living things are the plants and animals called organisms that use those resources. Each of the specific ecosystems in the world has its own conditions created by the non-living things. These conditions determine what kinds of living things will be able to thrive there. So the longer things can live there, the longer they have to be able to reproduce in order to keep their species alive. Organisms can only thrive where their needs are being met. Everything in an organism's environment has an effect on it. One ecosystem that allows many different kinds of organisms to thrive is a temperate zone. Michigan is actually in a temperate zone. It's an area where the conditions never become too hot or too cold. You might say that Michigan becomes too hot. You might say that it becomes too cold. But really, we don't need, we don't go so far below zero that things actually literally die too much or too far above you know, 90 that things are actually dying from the heat, right? So we have a pretty great area most of the time. All the living things in an ecosystem are called a community. All of one specific kind of organism living in a community is called a population. All the tree frogs in a rainforest community are one population within the community. That sounds confusing. I'll simplify in a sec. All the white birch trees are another population within the same community. All the jaguars are yet another rainforest community population. So these are just examples. So when you have, when a scientist looks at um, an ecosystem, they usually start looking at one organism, like one single frog. So let's say this frog has three toes instead of the normal five toes or four toes. Whatever, let's say it has three toes, which is not normal. Then the scientist is, has to look at like, oh, do all of these kind of frogs have three toes? And so you, they look at the entire species, right? And so the whole species, every frog that they can get their hands on, they will look at and it's called a population. And then they're like, oh, so if this frog has some kind of weird three-toed thing going on, I wonder if other organisms have other deformities going on also. And so they look at all the other organisms, which is the community of organisms. So again, today you're going to watch for species, population, community, and organisms, and listen for ecosystems. Let's see how well you just listened. So this is a Michigan, um, this is a Michigan example of our deciduous forest. And so it's asking you to look at these pictures. There are four pictures, one of just the deer, one of the deer, the rabbit, the raccoon, the elk. I don't know what that is. Another bush or shrub, shrub, a tree, a squirrel. That's a squirrel. Hey, it's a squirrel. Okay, this is just a picture of three deer. Okay, and this is a picture. Uh, this is a deer laying down, by the way. And this is a picture of like, the mountains, some birds, we've got some other birds in the trees, maybe a fox, a beaver, some deer, okay? So which one do you think is a species? What do you think? Put up one, two, three, four. Which one do you think, which picture represents a species? 
All right, if you put up number two, you're correct. Good job. All right, which one do you think represents a population? So it can't be number two. So it's either one, three, or four. Did you guess number one? You got it. Population is correct. For number one, it has, oh, sorry, my bad. It should be number three. It should be number three. I was looking at the wrong picture. For a population, you should have a deer, a deer, a deer, a deer. Okay? All right, so here's our species. Here's our population. The next term is community. Which one do you think it is, one or four? It's one. <laughs> this one is one. Yep. This is the community. It's everything that lives there, the deer, the squirrel, the tree, the grass, the raccoon. Okay? That makes this one an ecosystem, which includes all the living and non-living things in an area. All right, you're going to practice a little bit, and then, um, again, you can use your notebook for the um, little review assignment that I have for you today.